Isn't this awesome? We get to play with a dog all day. It's one of the best jobs in the department. There's a dog in the house. Having her find illicit drugs out on the street can make Tallahassee a safer place. There's a dog in the house. Girl, what? how you doing? Oh, you ready to work? All right. Birdie is my newly acquired narcotics detection dog. She is a Labrador Retriever. She's five years old. There's a dog in the house. We found Birdie at the City of Tallahassee Animal Shelter. We were looking for a dog that would meet the requirements that we need for a narcotics detection dog. She met and checked every box that we were looking for, and uh, we were very pleased with what we found. She's been a great addition to my family and to the unit. That's a good girl. You ready to go find it? Humans, we use our eyes as our primary sense. Dogs use their nose as their primary sense. We want them to go out and look for what we tell them to look for. In this case, it's narcotics. When we went and hit her toy and and asked her to go look for it with her nose. She did an excellent job of using that nose and, and finding it very quickly. Search. So what we do is we put her in a couple different environments, outside and, and around vehicles, and we hide her favorite toy in these environments, and she goes and looks for it. And when I say look for it, she uses her nose and she hunts for it with tenacity, and she lets us know when she's found it by some behavior changes that she shows. Then she gets her toy, and then we play with her toy, and we praise her up. Search! That's essentially what we're doing right now, is building those, those characteristics and qualities up to where when we do start her training on the illicit drugs, that she is ready to go, and, and we'll pick it up very quickly. Woo! Oh, good girl! Oh, good girl! That's a good girl, baby! Good girl! All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing inside that we did outside, tap and hides. And this is just a different environment, but the same general idea, big game of hide and seek. Hey, watch. Oh, you ready to get? Her favorite thing is her toy, but it also has an opening in it where you can stuff a food item or in our case, we're gonna use illicit drugs, hide in there. So then when she goes to hunt for that, there'll be an association with that illicit drug and her favorite toy. That way she'll want to go find it. And that's kind of how we imprint those odors on the dog when we're beginning training with her. So I have a pool at home, and she is a Labrador Retriever, which they're notoriously excited and love water. So she loves to chase her toy, and then when she gets hot, she doesn't go get a drink of water. She decides she needs to take a dip in the pool, which can be frustrating for me because then she has to dry off before she comes into the house. But she loves it. Yep. She also plays with my children. I have five children, and she is very comfortable with them. And I have a patrol dog as well. He's a five-year-old Belgian Malinois, and she and him get along great, but she runs the show, and she's only been a part of the family for about four months. So, kind of a dominant personality, bundle of energy, but exactly what we're looking for in a drug dog. Once we get her started and imprinted on the illicit drugs, it takes about probably four to six weeks to get her up and running and then we go through a certification process after that. And then once she's certified, she'll be out on the street working with me and helping the citizens of Tallahassee. So we're really excited to get started with Birdie training once we get our training aids in, so stay tuned. Next time we see Birdie, she'll be getting her certification. <laughs>